this video, we'll be basically seeing how to identify functions when a theoretical statement is not given. Rather, some graph, some schematical sketch is given. We have already seen what a function is and we also know that there are two necessary conditions for a function to exist. The first condition would be what? It would be that every element of the first set should be associated. And the second condition would be that every element of the first set should be associated with a unique element of the second set. This was the theoretical concept of function which we have already seen in the previous videos. Now, let's see how to identify whether a given schematic graph is a function or not with the help of some concept. Let's get started with the fourth examples that we have been given here. This is the first graph of y is equal to x square. If you might be wondering how is this graph drawn, this is simply an example wherein what do we do? We have some values of x and we obtain some values of y corresponding to those values of x. Suppose I have x as 0, I get 0's square is 1, 0's square is 0, so it is 0. Suppose I have x as 1, so 1 square is 1, so I have y as 1. Suppose I put x as minus 1, so minus 1 square is again 1. Now suppose I put x as 2, 2 square is 4 and so on. That means what do we have to do? We have to write and assume some values of x and then solve it to obtain some values of y. Different points are obtained such as 0, 0 which is here, 1, 1 which would be somewhere here minus 1, 1 and so on and then we join and obtain a graph. Now this graph is already given to me and I have to just see whether this is a function or not. So the technique to find out whether a given graph is a function or not, it is as simple as we draw a line parallel to y axis. This is y axis, suppose I have to check whether it is a function or not. I just have to draw a line parallel to y-axis. Let's make it more beautiful. The line should be definitely parallel just to y-axis. And let's see how it goes about. This is a line parallel to y-axis. You can make it more straighter with the help of a ruler. Now if the line is such that for a particular value of x, this is a particular value of x, I obtain one and only one value of y. That means for a particular value of x, if only one unique image exists, which is the case, so it is a function. So for a graph, what do we do? We basically draw a line parallel to the y-axis and then for a particular value of x, if only one value of y is present then we say it is a function so this example that we draw here is a function let's come on to the second example now the second example is of y square is equal to x how did we get the graph we got the graph in the same manner as we got the graph here we basically had different values of x and then we obtained different values of y when x and y we see here this time we put values of y and obtain values of x so if i put y is equal to 0 i get 0 square that is x is 0 if i put y is equal to minus 1 minus 1 square is 1 if i put y is equal to only 1 1 square is 1 and so on we have different values and we can plot it in a different manner so 0 0 is a point 0 0 is this point as you can see here 1 minus 1 is a point, 1 is on x-axis and minus 1 is here. So this would be somewhere like this, 1 and minus 1. This is 0, 0. This is 1, 1. And in this manner, we can join and draw a graph. Now what do we have to see? We have to basically check whether this graph is a function or not. The same procedure, this is the graph given to me. What do I do? I have to draw a line parallel to the y-axis. Let me draw a line parallel to y-axis. Say this is the line that I have drawn parallel to y-axis. Now, for 
any particular value of x this is a value of x which i have darkened with some red ink now for this value of x what do i see i see that there are more than one values of y that means x value has more than one image for this value of x i have this as the image and here also the second image this is i1 which is the first image and this is i2 which is the second image which should not have been the case for a single value of x hence this graph of y square is equal to x is not a function why not a function because for a particular value of x i have more than one images the image is not unique now we saw that there was one function and one not a function let's see two more examples for some practice purpose and then we'll be proficient enough in the understanding of identifying functions this is the third graph of a circle the values are written and then put and then the graph is drawn for those who don't know this equation do not worry x square plus y square is equal to a square is the standard equation of a circle where a is the radius and the center is at origin so this means that this is automatically given to me as 0 0 this is my origin or the center and different values of x and y would yield me this circle and the radius is a which we don't need to consider for now we only have to check whether this is a function or not what is the technique the technique is as simple that what do we need to do we need to draw a line parallel to y axis so let's draw a line parallel to y axis it can be done on either side on left hand side or on right hand side suppose i draw a line parallel to y axis now this is a line parallel to y axis it can be made more straighter again with a ruler now this is x for a particular x do we have one image for this x we have one image here and one more image here again this is not a function because there is not a unique image but more than one images so this is not a function let's move on to the last example i've quoted here of graph to check whether it is a function or not the graph is of a straight line y is equal to mx plus c you might have studied in your 11th class m is the slope c is the intercept of y to check whether this is an equation of a function or not let's draw a line parallel to the y axis any line that you draw parallel to the y axis should intersect the graph at only one point that means for a particular value of x we should have only one image which is the case there is not more than one image so yes it is a function so in these four graphs we basically learned how to identify whether a given graph is a function or not what is the technique the technique is very simple that you have to draw a line parallel to the y axis if the line intersects the graph at only one point that means a value of x has only one image then it is a function otherwise it is not